Here is a more inferior view of the penis. And again, we can see, because we took off one half of the penis, we can see the corpus spongiosum with the urethra going through it, the median septum, and the cut corpus cavernosus, which you can see right over here. The root of the penis, which is going to be right over here, consists of extensions, proximal extensions of the cylindrical bodies, including the two corpora cavernosa and the corpus spongiosum. And here you can see one of the corpora cavernosa extending onto the pubic arch. And this is the way that the penis is going to be braced against the pubic arch. This part of the corpus cavernosum which you don't really see because it's covered by a muscle, ischiocavernosus muscle. But within here, you find what is called the cruce of the penis. And there are two of them because you have two corpora cavernosa. And so together, they would be referred to as the crura of the penis. The word cruce means root. The proximal part of the corpus spongiosum has an enlargement which is referred to as the bulb. And the bulb of the penis, which is what it's called, is going to brace against the perineal membrane, which you can't see here, but it would be above the structure right over here. And the bulb of the penis is covered by another muscle, just like the cruce of the penis is covered by the ischiocavernosus muscle. The bulb of the penis is covered by the bulbospongiosum muscle. So I mention these structures because in other models you're going to see these structures more clearly because the muscles will have been removed.